Hey everybody, it's Anthelar here, and today I'm going to bring you another Ashran guide. So the goal of this guide is going to be how to farm Honor and Ashran on the Alliance side. First things first, we're starting off in Storm Shield. I'm going to take us over to the spot that I have been going to. Have to run along the side and try and avoid the horde. Last thing we want to do is get killed with artifact fragments. Always remember that. Looks like the event here is up, but I'm not going to do that, because, yeah. It's a bit of a trek to get to, be, to where we're headed to, but once we get over there, it's not too hard. Basically, what we're going to be doing is killing monsters and looting the objects known as artifact fragments can see right here I already have five each artifact fragment you can turn in for approximately three honor and what you're looking for is this buff right here fortune favors the bold you earn 100% additional artifact fragments while behind enemy lines which basically means if we open up our map here and you see the middle thing where you have the seat of Korlock all the way over to the ring of conquest that's kind of the middle dividing line so you want to make sure you go to the opposite side. Oh, looks like I'm getting attacked. That's still the Georgia. No, I can't do that yet. That spell is in readiness. Yeah, that's I can't cast that yet. Not ready yet. Kill this mage real quick. That's still the Georgia. That spell isn't ready yet. That's still the Georgia. I can't cast that yet. That spell is still here. I can't cast that yet. That's still recharging. I can't cast that yet. That spell isn't ready yet. It's too far away. I'm out of range. Alright, let him run away. So we're going to come down here over by the uh, crabs, because it's kind of an out of the way spot. And there is an object that you can find down here that has a chance to contain quite a bit of artifact fragments if you manage to loot it, and it looks like it's up. This uh, iron supplies box. Submit to the might of the great older empire! 71 fragments for that. That's still recharging. That ability isn't ready. I can't cast that. I can't do that yet. I need to get closer. Alright, once you're down here, I like to take the, uh, yeah, loot those, okay. I like to take the uh, grappling hooks up to the top and work on killing the ogres up here. That spell isn't ready yet. <laughs> As you can see, we still have our Fortune Favors the Bold buff. What I do is I round them all up. Kill them. Loot them. Move on to the next pack. Got about seven from killing those two plus the little guys. Another thing to notice is if you haven't done them per day, um, these bonus objectives, which you can find in each of these spots on the map, if you do them, you'll get 150 honor and 30 gold as well, so make sure you do that if you can. Already up to 100 artifact fragments, so it goes pretty quick once you start getting it. And there is another interactable item that you can get in this area that has a chance of giving you um, some artifact fragments. It spawns right here. Uh, it doesn't appear to be up right now, but make sure you check it whenever you're around here. 
If you get lucky, you could get quite a few. Around 100 from that, probably. Anyway, after you've cleared out this place, um, I like to run down here because there's a couple of other artifact interactables like this adventurer's pack that you can open up. You can also kill these birds because they have the buff, or you have the buff. Um, if you're in this area as well, I highly recommend picking up the song flowers. The song flowers will give you the song flower buff, which increases all stats by 15% for one hour. Um, it's pretty useful, just straight up extra 15% stats. That ability isn't ready yet. Another artifact interactable item. That spell isn't ready. Another thing to note too is uh, if you can't kill these things as well, you can just run around and grab the interactable items. They have about a 15, 15 to 30 minute respawn, I'd say. So, you know, do that and then you can run out. So once you've found all the artifact fragments and killed some stuff here and you run out of monsters to kill, then what I like to do is run up towards the horde base and go underneath of the uh, bridge that goes into their base. Because underneath the bridge there is another artifact item that can spawn. And if it were up, it would spawn right behind in these bushes here. So make sure you check that while you're running over to the other side. There is also another hollowed stump spawn location right here, which is up. Make sure you loot all of those, as many as you can. And the objective is to get as many artifact fragments as you can without dying. So make sure you, know, you stay in the back, you stay away from the, uh, the horde as best you can. If you get caught and you get killed, you're going to lose about half of your artifact fragments. So half of the, your total honor that you could have earned. And that's very bad, you don't want to have that happen to you. So, already up to 448 artifact fragments. It's going very quickly. Come back. Kill these things. Again, there's a bonus objective, so if you need the honor still, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do that right now because as you can see I'm pretty much honor point capped. If you manage to click on one of those green things that just whizzed right by me, you'll get a, uh, a buff that increases your movement speed by like 300% for 3-4 seconds. It's pretty nice. Um, it lasts for 20 minutes and periodically procs. If you have water walking, the safest way is to run around the back of this stuff instead of trying to run through the middle through the graveyard. But if you don't have water walking, then you will have to run through the middle of the graveyard and try your best not to get killed. Um, one thing I will say is now we're back across on the Alliance side, so um, you're not going to get an extra 100% artifact fragments from killing things over here from looting the artifact things but there's still artifact pouches and bonus objectives so if you haven't done the bonus objective it's kind of nice to come over here um, do the bonus objective get the extra 150 honor and gold and then check for the uh, artifact spawn location that is on top of this uh, platform over here does appear to be up if I can get up there. Kill these things real quick. Yeah, sometimes you have to dismount to get up on them. So the tricky part is you have to jump across this, so make sure you time it right. Get up over here, and then here is the adventurer's pack, so make sure you loot it. Grab the extra artifact fragments and jump down. Mm -hmm. 
There's a couple more artifact fragment um, interactable items that I'm going to show you, and then after that we can go and turn in. Um, you can only hold up to a thousand artifact fragments, so be aware that if you get capped you can't get any more, so you'll have to go turn in at that point. Again, you won't get as much for killing them here, but there is a bonus objective and there are artifact interactable items that you can get. So there's one that spawns right on top of this uh, burning corpses spot right where my mouse is. does not appear to be up right now though. Uh, these little Gorgon eggs, they, uh, they can drop scrolls and they drop a couple of artifact fragments. They're not really worth collecting, but if you want to, they're there. There's a couple more spawn locations yet. So there is a tree stump that will spawn right here, right where my cursor is circling, so make sure you check here. There are two other items that can spawn up here, one being on top of this ledge, right here. and the other being underneath of this tree. Kind of spawns a little bit in the bushes, it can be kind of hard to see sometimes, but it spawns right in there. Once you've checked all of the artifact spots, which I highly recommend doing before you go and uh, um, start your farm because um, they're, they're very easy, very quick. Once you've checked all of those, then I would run over to the spot in the beginning of this video and just start killing as many monsters as fast as you can. And the artifact fragment should add up. Yeah, already up to 523 just by going around this island for about 12 minutes now. So as you can see there's one that spawns right here. There's also one that spawns on this platform right next to that corpse. You kind of have to jump onto it and then it will be right about there. And the last one that I know of spawns right over here. appears to be up. It's got satchel. And once you've collected all those, like I said, um, go either over here to Brutes Rise or Amphitheater of Annihil- or yeah, Amphitheater of Annihilation. Yep. So let's go ahead and head back to town and turn all this in. Since I am honor capped, I will uh, buy a couple of pieces and from the vendor and show you how much honor this will translate into. Um, not that it's a super huge deal, but there is one guy on the Alliance side that you're going to want to turn into. Uh, he is riding on this horse mount right here, and he what he does is he summons the uh, riders, or yeah, the knight riders. But before we do that, I'm going to go buy a piece of gear real quick. The honor vendor in here is Marshal Karsh Stormforge. Great to meet you. Let's buy a two-hander. Compare real quick. Safe. 
Alright, so now you can see I am down to 500 honor points. Gonna keep this up, go ahead and uh, take all of my artifact fragments. See you later. And I went from 500 to 2,283, so about 1,783, I think, is the amount that I gained there. And that was in about 15 minutes, so that's enough to buy a shoulder or belt, boots, gloves, necklace, a lot of pieces, trinkets, um, etc. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you liked it. Uh, goodbye.